Welcome to Artistic Digitizer, five minutes at a time. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the help tab and how to find the printable manual, how to use your mouse, how to use the zoom feature, and also how to set your default color palette. So let's get started. I'm gonna click on create new, so I have a new workspace to work with, and I'm going to use my shapes tool by clicking on here, I used the circle last, I'll use it again. I'm going to left click, hold and drag to get my shape, and then I'll turn it off by clicking selection at the top. Now that I have it selected, I can see both my properties and my colors over on the side. If you don't see yours up here in the uh, gray space, you can uh, right click and you'll find properties and colors there. You'll have to open one and then open the other. Now let's start with the help files. On a PC, you're going to see the help files along the top here, and you'll be able to click on them. On a Mac, it's gonna be just off the workspace, and you'll see help. And under help, you have help topics and the printable help. Now the printable help, you can take that, open it, take it, save it to a USB, and you can take it somewhere to be printed. You can print individual pages. You can move it to an e-reader as well. So you, you don't have to have it printed if you don't want to. Help topics, give you lots of options. You can search by the contents. And this is the manual, how the manual set up. So if I wanted to find something there, maybe the quick reference chart, I could look and there's my quick reference chart. Under index, it's alphabetized. So if there's a particular thing uh, you're going to look for, maybe file formats, you wanna double click and it'll open the file format area and give you information on file formats. In the search area, you can do a word search, and I'm gonna do color palette, and enter or hit search, and then it'll bring up anything with color or palette in it, because those are the two words I use. I'm gonna select it. Now it tells me about my color palette and how to use the color palette and change it. I'm gonna close that. Sometimes for our Mac users, the um, computer uh, items will populate at the top here. If artistic goes away, just click in your workspace and it'll come right back. So using your mouse wheel, I can use my mouse wheel and roll up and down on it to move, to move my hoop up and down. I can hit shift and I'll go left and right. And if I hit control and I have my cursor in the center, I can zoom in and zoom out. If I put my cursor off to the side and hit control, it's gonna zoom it off to the side like that. So it's based on where your cursor is when you're, when you're zooming. You can also come over here and select zoom on the side. And you'll notice that there are some shortcut keys for zoom. And I could do zoom all, which brings it right back to the center. If I move it off, let's do that again. And I click zoom all, comes back. If I wanted to do the pan, I could click on pan and then I'll get the little hand and I could move my whole workspace left and right, up and down if that's what I wanted to do. It moves everything on there. To turn off any of those tools, click select at the top and the tools will turn off. Now working with your color palette, I have mine set as Janome as at the top of my list. And then these are my visible uh, palettes that I use. I might use some of these, might not use all of them, but I have my most favorite at the top of the list. Notice they're not alphabetized. Yours are probably alphabetized at this point. So let me show you how you can go in and set your default color palette. We're going to go up here in the gray space for our PC owners and go to tools, tool options. For our Mac owners, we're going to go to artistic preferences and they open both the same window you can come here and select palette order and you can click on which one you want as your default and which ones you want visible once you have those selected if you want to move them to the up to the top you would just click on them left click hold and drag and you can bring them up to the top and place them anywhere in your list so that you have your own list. You could reorganize this in any way that you like. Once you have that set, click OK, and then you can look in your palette to find the order of your colors. And you can you know, choose any palette in there that you wanna work with, or go back to the one at the top that is your default palette.
And that is five minutes with Artistic Digitizer.